Good afternoon guys, you're watching Lift Hills and Thrills. Today we are in Madrid, Park Warner Madrid to be specific, for the Gotham City Escape Press Day launch with Mr. Scott Bickerton. How are you doing, sir? I'm all good. Let's just take you inside. We've been given a treat today, so thank you so much to Park Warner for inviting us. And I'm, I'm, I'm moving already. Scott, I'm going in, I'm going in. Go, go, go. All right, we've been given our wristbands. Everyone's leaving the park. And uh, yeah, we'll go straight up to where Photo Call is right outside of the new ride. It's feeling real now. It's feeling real. Oh, they're Robinson Park. And there's a lot of people down there. They've invited a lot of people, but there's one thing that still remains to my knowledge at this moment in time. That knowledge is that me and Scott may be the only two British people in this entire event. We've got half the Justice League out here. So behind us is the photo call and uh, apparently lots of Spanish celebrities were having their photos with the characters and I just rolled on in and just had my photo straight away. What did they say to you straight after Scott? Not, not famous not enough. Famous not enough. Like, not like the picture, but I'm now officially sure famous one. in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Ole! Right, let's have a look at the merchandise before we board the new ride. The pins have sold out already. You just know that in about 10 minutes they're all going to be on eBay. It's colourful. The theme in here is stunning. So you got all the, the mugs and everything. The mugs are gorgeous. You got all of the Harley Quinn stuff at the bottom here. Including that gorgeous. Gorgeous hoodie. It's a very, very, very good quality. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is Spanish. There's no foreign. There's there's no foreign vloggers here, mate. We are representing everything that isn't Spanish. God help you all. Right, so right at the front here at Gotham City Escape, and considering I'm, I'm in a very confident mood to just stroll on and pretend I'm a celebrity, I'm currently sitting in one of the reserved places. Let's see if I can get away with it as well for the second time. Let's make it two out of two, baby, because I'm not meant to be here. <laughs> No one's moved as yet. <laughs> since we've been watching the show all the neon signs that was very very good right for the first time we are stepping forth 
into the gates of Batman the Gotham City Escape. I don't deserve to be here, but I'm going to milk every single second. I'm nerdy, I'm nerdy now. This, this, this is a real medical condition. I'm nerdy now. You can just about hear it faintly over the audio there as Alfred is inviting you into Wayne Manor for a guided tour for the first time. It's a very strange looking Wayne Manor. Como parte del programa de divulgación impulsado por la comunidad, el señor Wayne generosamente ha decidido abrir las puertas de su espectacular mansión a los residentes de la ciudad de Gotham e invitarles personalmente a recorrerla. En el interior encontrarán una exhibición de objetos únicos, antigüedades y obras de arte de incalculable valor. Su guía llegará en cualquier momento para comenzar su recorrido por la mansión. Por favor, les pedimos que durante su visita sean respetuosos con la mansión Wayne, con todo lo que en ella se exhibe y sigan en todo momento las indicaciones y reglas de la misma. Presidente de toda la vida de la ciudad de Gotham, me gustaría darles la bienvenida a mi casa, la mansión Wayne. En breves momentos, uno de nuestros guías les mostrará nuestra propiedad. Antes... Bienvenidos a la mansión Wayne, bla bla, reglas bla bla, nada divertido. Bueno amigos, ¿ya están aburridos? Porque parece que les vendré bien una buena carcajada. Tomad, probad mi gas de la risa y os prometo que no podréis dejar de su... Mal, no voy a saber que he cerrado las salidas y no podréis escapar. ¿Podrá vuestro maravilloso alma llegar hasta aquí para salvaros? Por favor, mantengan la calma. Los evacuaremos lo antes posible. Debido a mi posición en la ciudad de Gotham, a menudo soy objetivo de amenazas e incluso ataques. Por eso, la mansión está dotada de un sistema de evacuación de emergencia y seguridad muy avanzado. Protocolo de emergencia activado. Por favor, diríjanse inmediatamente a la sala de seguridad. Protocolo de emergencia activado. Protocolo de emergencia activado. Test seat there. It might be a little late to be doing the test seat at this stage, but that's just my personal opinion.
one train goes out, one train comes in. Oh, they look stunning. Got some sort of effect going on in the cave there, that looked awesome. <laughs> we got a back row as the first ride. We, we wanted front, but back is absolutely fine too. Train arrivals board there, and as you turn around the corner, there's some insane theming. Check out the lights on the back of the train. Right, we're going on. See you on the other side. And as you come out, you come out into the shop that we showed you earlier, and yeah. Okay, you know, you know when I went to um, Park Asterix and I said after two tatis, um, I come off it and I wasn't really too excited about going back on it. We're going back on it again, and I'm sure when we come off this one, we're probably going to go come around and do it again. Yeah, there's literally no queue, so reviews can wait. Reviews can. Wait. This is special. Yeah. Third time lucky. We got a front row on the. We got a front row, baby. Gotham City Escape absolutely wipes the floor with Tutatis. There is no competition. Tutatis will hold that record for the most airtime moments. But that makes every single airtime moment into an ejector off the chain moment. It's relentless. You set off from the station and you go straight into a very themed sewer. Joker pops up, you launch, and there's no lulls. There's no let up. There's no escaping the intensity of the ride. The launches are insanely snappy. The stall is incredible. That top hat that everybody's moaning about. Oh my God, the brakes. Oh, it's just, oh, it's not. The audio kicks in behind you. It perfectly times in with why you've stopped at the top. And then as you're hanging over, it's even worse on the front, you're kind of thrown over it. And if you're on the back, you're flicked over it. It's a ride that I've been on three times now and I'm scared to go on it each and every time. It's intense, it's relentless, it's phenomenal. I can't rate Velocicoaster, I've never been on it. Europe's answer to Velocicoaster, I think it's nailed it. Scott is a very happy bloke. I am blown away. I've come off three rides now and I've been shaking every single time. I wanna go on it again and again and again in every single row. They have themed the queue line to perfection. The only negative, the only negative, is that the first pre-show goes on for about five minutes. It's too long. It's good the first time, but it drags on and on and on. It's just like, come on, you could have cut that down to at least two and a half to three minutes. The back cave is superb. The subway station is phenomenal. And boarding the train in that subway station is such a nice touch. This area that you're flying around at night is phenomenal. I can't think of any more adjectives to describe this. This is one of my favorite roller coasters in the entire world that I've done so far. It's not as good as Zardra for me, but it's genuinely terrifying. Each and every single time. Unbelievable. I've been Sean Evans. You've been watching Lift Hills and Thrills. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That is going to win a lot of people over. Do not judge the POV like I did. Because you're going to be proven very, very wrong. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.